Hi everybody, welcome to DIY Flip and today I'm making another project with my flip flop and today's design is going to be this. Flowers were pearled. I'm going to turn these flip flop into this design. Okay, and what you're going to need, you're going to need a pair of brand new flip flops for all the materials and you're going to need a glue gun because I'm using a glue gun today with a glue stick okay now if you want to use E6000 you could use E6000 if you want but I'm using the E the, the glue gun you're going to need a ruler you're going to need some pliers and you're going to need some scissors and you're going to need the needle okay and i'll tell you why we need the needle okay and you're going to need a needle holder in case your needles break and then you're going to need a design you're going to take need at least three ribbon lace beads you're going to need three pieces for one sandal so it together is six pieces you're going to need two for the size and one for the middle okay so you're gonna need some B lace you could get that on the craft store and then you're going to need a flower made out of ribbon with a stone any kind of stone design if you want to put pearl like I did I put pearl and I bought these in Amazon and then you're going to need a lace for the trim okay make sure you measure yours and these are the ones that I bought in Amazon some of the ones the samples that I bought okay to put in the middle of my flower you could do a different color if you want. If you don't want to do white, you could always do red, blue, because they sell them in all colors. Okay. So, and I cut my flip-flop strap to T. And if you want to see how I did this, it's in another video. Okay. But this is the reason why you need the scissors is to cut your strap okay because they came like a v okay not a t okay and that's in another video if you want to look how i did this how i did um the t uh, for those who know what i'm talking about all right you take your flip-flop and you cut it and i cut my i mean your strap and you cut your strap mine is i cut my strap to a seven a seven centimeters seven centimeters down and across my strap is a size 20 19 and a half almost 20 okay so my strap up here is 19 and a half centimeters and going down is seven centimeters. And if you want to see how I did this T cut, look, check it out in another video that I have. All right. Okay. And my flip flops are size seven to eight. All right. Let us start. All right. After you cut, you cut your flip flop um, strap, you take it out from the back when it's a V, then you cut it into a T. Okay, that's when you do the sewing. That's why I show you the needle and the thread. You can use fishing wire, but I sewed it over here and I lined it up like this and I sew the strap. And then I sold it over here. Okay. 
that's where I did my sewing and that's where I did my cutting okay you take your your T T strap and we're going the first thing we're going to do not the flower we're going to put is the lace ribbon going down okay going down so we're going to glue okay this project is going to be gluing but the sewing is you sew the flowers together or you could glue the where well, I glue the flowers the only thing that you could sew that you have to do is sewing is the strap okay so the rest is just gluing all right I'm gonna move that over and I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to put some glue on my strap and I'm going to I'm going to make sure that it's, it lines up right so I have to make sure it's even with the bottom okay and I'm going to put it like this I'm going to glue it right in there make sure it's even I bought these in Amazon the bees do sometimes come out and they lose so you could sew it it already has these little bees already has um, holes in it so you could sew it onto the lace okay just to let you know all right so I already sold mine because the bees were coming out so I want to make sure that they were nice and secure so I'm going to put glue oops I'm going to put glue on my strap like this this glue is kind of hard to come out I don't know why it's a different kind of glue okay and then I'm gonna press in that it could stay nice and level in there there we go all right so it should do, look like this your B should look like this, your strap. All right. Now that I glued the strap, does the the army the um lace ribbon to the to the strap? I'm gonna put next is I'm gonna glue my flower. I did two flowers with the lace, the same lace, a little bit wider, and I just sewed it going like this. And I kept sewing it until it becomes a flower. Okay. So I did a small one in the middle and a big one or in the back. Okay. And then I glued on my my um my um gen, my pearls. Okay, you take your glue and you look for the center. Because this is where it's gonna go. You're gonna glue it right in the center like this okay it's going to be right even in the middle just like this okay so it's going to be down a little bit and this a much amount it's going to be just like this even all right so the way i did that i glued it right in the middle i put a lot of glue on the strap you have to put a lot of glue because that flower is thick so I'm gonna put a lot a lot of glue in there even on the bees I want to make sure it's right in the middle and you hold it there once you don't get burned but you hold it there in the middle just wait to it gets a little bit dry. You know, it's going to be hot, but be very, very careful. Mine's is like giving me a hard time over here. Just trying to hold it in. Okay. You don't worry about this glue. That could come out. You could take that, that glue out. I'm just going to hold it down because I want to make sure that I'm holding it right on the strap that I don't get burned. So I'm going to hold it down.
Okay. And you're going to have to add a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more on the side. I'm going to hold it down with the scissors. So I don't want to get burned. There we go. I can move the rest. No, it's not important. And let me put a little bit more in here because I do need some more inside. So I'm going to put more inside. Put it down and I'm going to hold it down with the scissors. I don't want to get burned. So I have to just hold it down. Be careful you don't get burned doing this with your daughter. Okay. I got to make sure it's the same, that it looks the same. Glue, working with glue is kind of sloppy. So bear, you know, bear with me doing this. <laughs> it gets all over your hands and just want to make sure that the pearls are even and the flip flops, I mean, the bows are the same. Okay. So. Just hold it there until it dries up. If you need more glue, just add more glue to it. I'm gonna press it in and hold it there for a minute. Working with glue is kind of sloppy, so like I said, you could always remove the glue that's stuck after it dries, they get stuck to the flip-flop, okay? If you don't want to deal with the glue, you could take lace, I mean ribbon, and you put ribbon all around it, you know, ribbon around the whole strap, and then sew it. Sew your flower if you don't want to deal with the glue, okay? But this is a fast way that I'm doing this. I also do it with the ribbon. I also wrap the strap with the ribbon. You could use the E6000 if you want. It's much stronger. Okay, that one dried. All right. So... Let me see if the bottom needs more. Yes, you check to see if the bottom or both sides needs more glue. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna press in. Press in there. All right, now it's nice and glued in there. So what you do is you take your other pearl lace and you measure to see, mine is not really that long. I have a long one and a short one. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this one here and this one over here, yes. Okay, so you lift up, sorry, you lift up a little bit, not too much, but just lift up your flower for you could tuck it in and we're going to glue it. Okay. I'll start from the bottom. Just going to hold it right there.
Okay, now I'm going to put the rest glue. There we go. Just going to hold it, hold it there. Make sure that it's nice tucked in there with the glue. Sorry about that. Okay, now I could glue the rest of the, the flower to the to the lace. I mean to the ribbon lace. Gonna add some more. Sorry. Going to add some more glue. And then I'm gonna hold it right there. It's hot. Yep, it is hot. Okay, there we go. Just going to hold it. As you can see in the back, it's a little sloppy, but this is what you got to go through when you deal with glue. It's sloppy. All right, so that should be a little bit dry there. I like to always add a little bit of glue make sure that in certain places that the the, the flower is, is really secure in there good okay all right now I'm going to do the other lace gonna lift the glue the, the ribbon up but I'm gonna start from the bottom okay Okay, stay there and press it without getting burned. All right, now I'm going to put the rest of the glue. Just give it a second to dry and then you apply the rest. I'm going to lift my flower up because there we go. And I'm going to put it down with the scissors and press it down. This is very hot. Sorry about that. Okay. All right, I'm going to organize and fix my layer, my flower a little bit here. And then I'm going to put a little bit glue there to hold it. Once the glue dries up, you could go on the back and you could peel wherever it is on top of the lace. Any glue that's on top of the lace, 
from I mean not the lace sorry and then glue this on top of the strap from the back you could peel it off okay it comes out very easy so okay when it dry this is what you do you just peel your glue right out this hanging around the lace or the strap all right so this is how it should look like and this is was a fast project but the longest thing was really to do is just to sew it but I didn't sew the strap so that's um that'll take a little while to doing is sewing the strap together but this is how it should look okay I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm going to glue the strap okay and the design that I have is going up this way as you can see I have the strap going up so just gonna put it on Oops, I did it wrong, wrong way again. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I did it the wrong way. I had to turn it over. Okay, it's just one of those days. <laughs> All right, let me lift this up so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Let me take some glue. I'm just going to tap it with um, the scissors. This is hot. Got glue all over the table. <laughs> all right, here we go. Sorry about the light in the video because I don't get in a lot of light in this room. So, um, but this is where I have to do the video at. And so I get another good light for this room to record. Okay. With the scissors, you could really, you know, push it in. You don't have to get burned. If it's open in any area, if you have a little gap there, you could just add some, some more glue to it. And then just tap it with the scissors. Okay. All right. want to thank everybody for watching my video and all those who are new i welcome you to my channel and keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay
my strap is going to be a little long so I'm gonna have to cut it because I see that it's too long okay almost to the end then I'm gonna have to cut it all right Sorry about that. I just want to make sure that it is even. Always make sure that it is even. And this little, the trim is a little bigger than the sandal. So, as you can see, it reaches right up to the top. All right, I'm going to cut it right here. Right here, I'm going to cut it. I'm sorry. If I could get my scissors. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cut it right about there. If these scissors cut. And I don't think they do. My scissors have so much glue on it. So it's giving me a hard time to cut it. The lace because of the glue okay so I'm gonna glue this area and I'm gonna just press it down in there there we go and I'm going to check in the meantime to see if there's any gap open Always check to see if you have any gap open that you could put your glue, more glue on it. You know, because that way when you wear your sandals, it, you won't feel that. Okay. Okay. Usually... The curve is where you fit, where you see a lot of gap open every time because it needs a lot of extra glue. And the curve. All right. So that is done. This is how it should look. Just like this. You could take your, your glue and wherever it's on the flip flop, you can remove it. Wherever it got stuck to the flip flop. You can remove the glue. Okay. Now I'm going to put the strap on. And that'll be the end. After I take this glue out of my hand. <laughs> it just keeps getting stuck to my fingers. Alright, here we go. You shove the flip-flop strap back in with the pliers not too hard just nice and soft okay on the side you do it sideways like this and you just push it in and once it's in you just come with the pliers in there and you push it you force it in a little bit at a time okay and it will go in there we go. All right, here we go. If you want to put glue on the back, you could, if it's not tight enough, you could put always glue in the back, okay? Either E6000 or the gun, the glue gun, okay? But this is the way it should look, all right? This is the way it should look. This is the way it came out. It's all done. Okay. Thank you for watching my channel and... Please do subscribe my page. God bless. Bye.